A lot to talk about this morning. Why not get started with our sports correspondent, Randy Roddy, because all Why everybody not? is talking about, <laughs> thinking about. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. This wonderful Spurs day. Is this big game one win? Randy Roddy, good morning. Good morning. I tell you what, it was a great win, but I was nervous for a while. I didn't oh, know. We all got a little Spurs nervous. Pull it out. They were down by 10 <laughs> in the fourth quarter, and I started biting my nails. I thought, oh no, the Spurs are going to lose game one to the Dallas Mavericks. We got to listen to Mavericks fans all day. Nobody wants to hear that. Nobody wants to hear that. But the Spurs did end up uh, uh, playing well. And I saw what the Mavericks were trying to do. They tried to stop the Spurs from shooting the three ball. Yeah. And they had to let Timmy take over on the game. Yeah. And he did. Timmy had 27 points. He had a great game. Gotcha. And we did go out to go go check with the fans, you know, to see what they were. Because, okay. you know, the best fans were out in full force yesterday. Let's see what happened. Let's see it. The drive for five starts today. Your San Antonio Spurs, the number one seed in the playoffs. The Dallas Mavericks stand no chance. Go Spurs, go! Ready for battle! They have a team dedicated team. They work hard, they play hard, and they're not selfish like other teams in the NBA. Go Spurs, go! Oh, a Rockets fan made this first? Yes! Show me your shoes! Ladies and gentlemen, we're out here with the best outfit in Spurs basketball history. Sir, what is your name? Freddy Torres, founding father of the Spurgeon Army! How far did you travel to watch this game today? Drove from Houston, believe it or not. From Peoria, Illinois. What? Peoria, Illinois? Yes, Peoria, Illinois. That sounds really familiar. Ladies and gentlemen, I went to middle school with this guy right here. This is my boy, Derek Martin. He drove all the way down to support his Spurs on game one. The mastermind behind the hair. We heard it was all you. How did you come up with this idea? It just, at the end of the last minute thing. Man, the Spurs are the best in the West, and you can't compete with the rest. You know what I'm talking about? Go Spurs, go! I said they're going to win five games. For this one, end it, go up to Houston, win it in six, and do a seven-game series for the rest of the last two rounds. We're going to San Antonio by 50. As long as they win by 120, that's all that matters. <laughs> as long as they win. How long have you been a Spurs fan? Ever since I was born. No! 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 Who's your favorite player? Uh, Tim Duncan. Tim Duncan, Matt Bonner. Timmy! Tim Duncan, legend of the Alamo. You put those together with the warrior Manu Ginobili and you can't beat us. We love it! We love it! We love it! Wow. Wow. Everybody was really excited. They were really excited Roddy, out there. You could feel the excitement pop out from the screen. Yeah. Folks just get rowdy. Yeah, right, they do. Right. Roddy, there was a very special moment uh, yesterday. Uh, we yeah. were all watching. Kind of unexpected for Popovich, right? It was. You know, and I've actually been, I've interviewed Coach Pop a couple times, and uh, he's one of the most terrifying interviews you can ever do. <laughs> Because so? if, if you mess up, he will he will make you feel like you're this big. Yeah. And I'm a big guy, so that's hard to do. You <laughs> yeah, know? right. But, so, uh, sports it, sideline reporter Craig Sager was, was obviously missing yesterday. We all yeah. learned the news that he is battling leukemia. Uh -huh. But incidentally, his son, Craig Sager Steph Jr., Jr. Uh -huh. stepped in. And, and kind of an unexpected moment happened between them they, yeah, on they the very court. Touching. Pop, Pop actually showed his, his, uh, his real side, which yeah, is pretty watch. good. Yeah, let's watch. Mm -hmm. Great job, great question from Craig yeah. Jr. I, I talked to my dad to see if he had a question. He said, son, you're on your own. Is there anything you'd like to say? Well, I got to tell you, uh, you did a great job, but I'd rather have your dad standing here. That's just great. We miss you. You've been an important part of all this for a long time, doing a great job. We want your fanny back on the court, and I promise I'll be nice. Get back here. Good luck. Yeah, real, so real classy move by Pop yeah. Bitch. That right there just shows you how classy San Antonio, uh, the Spurs are, their whole organization. I love it. You know, Pop is a great guy, and of course he got his players to play for him because they're all upstanding guys as well. Okay, and Wednesday we're headed into game two. 7 p.m. 7 p.m. AT&T Center. Be there or be, be there squared. Or be squared. Yes. Go Spurs, go. Go Spurs, go. Yes. Thank, Thank you, Brandon, Brandon Roddy. Thank you. Oh, my God.